man speaks for himself. Look at him. Hey, hey, 
I wasn't on the cards. From parts unknown, weighing in three oh, Lord. and 23 pounds, he is the NWA IOC champion. Oh, Lord. An animal. Abyss is one big dude. Or monster, or whatever he is. Oh, he gives the belt. Oh, wow. Larry Sweeney, but it's an improvement. Wow, he's taking off his robe. He's looking jacked. But he's going to get in the ring now with Abyss. He got a stick and move, K5. He got a stick and move. You know what I mean? Shut up, pal. I can't even hear you. Throw a little jab here and there. Move out the way. Throw another little jab here and there. Out the way. Maybe a poke to the eyes. Something, because he's not going to outpower this guy. Sweeney got a good deal, you know what I mean? Like a famous man. Wow. Look at the strut. There it is. Can a bitch strut? That's what I want to know. I don't think a bitch can strut. He can murder you, but he can't strut. It's not his forte. For those of you who don't know who is who, a bitch is the monster. Sweeney's the one. Wow, look at very smart. Sweeney's the one running away. Not running away, I apologize. Very smart. Very smart game plan. Doing a very smart game plan. That's Larry Sweeney. Ladies and gentlemen. He has a count. What is it? Count to 10 or 20? 20. Count to 20. My crack staff team over here finally told me. Sweeney has to be smart here. Keep on ducking, shooking, and jiving. What are you doing, Sweeney? You don't want to get this guy upset. Oh, no. Sweeney has... Oh, God, Sweeney, no. Sweeney, no. No, Sweeney. Ah. Oh, get out of there. Get out of Dodge, baby. Smart getting the big man frustrated. When the big man is frustrated, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's not thinking. He may slip up. Oh, so, uh, Sweeney, he's on the outside. Sweeney, he's on the outside. Oh. Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, the big. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do it. Oh. Not good. Not good for Sweeney. My monitor's broken. I don't know what's going on. Oh, now they're back. Oh, Sweeney, run. Nice dump. Another dump. Oh, what is Sweeney doing? Oh, he tried to spit and it got caught in his mouth. That's nasty. That's nasty. Look, stop laughing. Oh. Oh, Lord. There goes Sweeney off the ropes again. Oh! Elevation! Wow, Abyss. He hit him. The thigh. He hit him in the thigh. Right in that picture. Oh, he's choking him. Smart. Smart. Use the. Look at Bryce. What is he? What is he doing? Smart. Smart by Sweeney. Sweeney again going right at it. And Bryce distracted. Look at that. The stupid yokels. The stupid slack jaw yokels. Sweeney, I'm putting the boots to the big, keep him down. Oh, Sweeney, you gotta keep the big man down, because once he gets vertical, you're done. Oh, can I see it fist drop? Yes. Yes, it is, sir. Or oh, fist drop, and many other circles. Oh, nice little stop to the chest. One more time. 
Sweeney drops right down on him. Here we go. Boom! Elbow drop. Hook the leg. Should have hooked the leg, especially a big guy like that. It was two. Sweeney, stay on him. Sweeney, stay on him. Stay on him, Sweeney. There you go. Oh, you're letting him get up. That's bad. Oh, that's not going to hurt him. Oh no, Sweeney. Sweeney, hurry up, double axe handle. No! Oh God, he caught him. Up and down! Oh, Sweeney. Sweeney has no idea where he is. What is the fist going to do? Ah, right, sucks for him. Oh God! Everwood! What is this? Oh Lord, he's gonna sit down with it. Sit down with it. No, Sweeney got out. Black hole. Black hole time! And that's it! One, two, and three! Sweet Lord! Larry Sweeney better get out of Dodge! By the way, Abyss is jacked! Wow! Wow! I thought Larry Sweeney had him after the low blow. I mean, the shot to the thigh. Shot to the thigh. That's what I'm talking about. And Abyss, there he is, the champ. I don't know who can beat him. I can, but I'm not gonna get in the ring with him. Maybe I'll sue him for the belt or something, but he's an animal, a monster. Look at that big guy. Animal. Vicious, baby, and the champ. Well, Larry Sweeney, his open challenge was answered. But it was, it was answered by Abyss. I don't think he's looking forward to that, but good effort by Sweeney. Not enough, though. Oh, Abyss is looking at him. That's not cool. Walk away, Abyss. Wow. Man down. Been thinking real hard about the World Tag Grand Prix, about which member of Sweet and Sour International would be best fitted to be Larry Sweeney's partner. And I made the drive, baby. I made the long drive because I'd made up my mind all the way to North Platte, Nebraska. I got pulled over on the way, and I said, take it easy, copper, because I'm on my way to pick up the sharecropper. <laughs> That's right, baby. 62 paint pickers in this tournament and only two real men, and you're looking at him right now, Sweet and Sour International. <laughs> That's right, baby, I love it. I looked in this man's eyes and I said, Sharecropper, are you ready to be my partner? And he said, you're looking into the eyes of Satan, pal, and you're on a road leading straight to hell. And we went down, we went down through the seven gates, baby. We went down through the seven gates and we made friends with all the demons and all the goblins and we came back up to North Platte, Nebraska, the Sharecropper's farm. We've been training the last six weeks out in the bitter cold blood running down our knuckles. Frozen ground being mowed, being tilled by me and the sharecropper. We've never been more ready in our lives! Ever! 62 pea pickers, two real men, Emmaus PA! You're about to witness the best tag team ever to hit professional wrestling! Things haven't been going too good lately for Sweet and Sour International. The Tag Grand World Prix, we had three teams in it, baby, and we should have been in the finals. We should have gone all the way, but we didn't. The ball has been dropped by numerous people. The sharecropper dropped the ball in my match. You guys dropped the ball against Night Eye for the private guy. The Dark Breed also dropped the ball. But that all ends here. 
That all ends here. We're in an eight-man tag tonight. We've got Fist, we've got Night Eye for the Pirate Guy, baby, and Metallico. Don't drop the ball against Night Eye for the Pirate Eye again. Same goes for you, Crossbones. It's the three of us. And the sharecropper called up. He called me up. He said, you know what, baby? I know you're in an eight-man tag. Let me in it. Let me in on the action, baby. And I said, Cropper, you keep your butt back in North Platte, Nebraska, plowing your fields, baby, because we don't want losers on our team. You're on probation. You're on probation. And all of Sweden Sour International is on probation until we start winning matches again. <laughs> so tonight, there's going to be... There's gonna be a mystery partner. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? It gonna I'm working be? on it. I'm working on it, baby. I don't know who it's gonna be, but I know he's gonna be old school. And you know what? One thing is for certain. This mystery partner is gonna do just like sweet and sour Larry Sweeney. He ain't gonna let down sweet and sour international. And if you guys wanna stay in this group, you better do likewise. Of Chikara. You signed a contract. The contract said that it was going to be two members. It was going to be Sweet and Sour International in divers. Now I know you're not here. Hey, come on. He's a steam commissioner.
IW. God, IW and any so. other. Next. IW. Yeah, next. I can't believe next. this. The Maven Bentley Association. This. NBA. Next song. Next song. I don't want to hear it. Oh, here we go. Oh, my this God. Is Come on. Time to waste it, huh? Time what to does he have on? That's a towel. It's got Rorschach. He's got crossbows. He's got Mono Metallica in a diaper. Mono Metallica. What's with the towel on, sweetie? Take the towel. What is he? This is embarrassing. I don't trust you. I don't know. You have those eyes. What about you? This is embarrassing. Mono Metallica is the whitest legs I've ever seen. Anyway, look at Rorschach. Who wants a lap dance from Mono Metallico? Not me. You know what? This isn't that bad. 50 cents. 50 cents. 50 50. 50. Lloyd Banks. Tony Ayo. Yo, Buck T unit. Why is Sweetie wearing knee pads and boots? It's because he can do that. And his wrist tape. Oh, God. Oh, 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 that's God. That's the money angle. Sharecropper, that's who he's missing. I don't think he's talking about Sharecropper, Eddie. Oh my God, please. Mono Metallica, turn around, I don't want to see there. it. My partner almost died last night. <laughs> Sweet and sour and national, huh? Sweet and sour and national. This is us, huh? This is what we are. Look at you. He's pretty oiled up. <laughs> Boston Red Sox. And it's not just the wrestling either, guys. What's the hell go? Why can't you just fold your laundry and put it away? Why do you gotta leave it in the dryer? You gotta leave your laundry in the dryer. Nobody wants to put his stuff in as it doesn't work. Crossbones. Crossbones. Come on. Why can't you do dishes? Put the dishes away. When you're done with the dishes, put the dishes away. Your war shack. When it comes to you, what am I talking about? Hindus? Get those slides up? And for God's sakes, get a tan. Hey, you want to call yourself a pro wrestler? I'm already in I work in doors. Yeah, you work in doors. You gotta go to the tan salon like Larry Sweeney does every day. Crossbows, how humiliated are you? And all of you should feel this humiliation. And I do not. Because it is not my fault. That this Jeff, take it how, off. how do you feel about this crossbow? Yeah, take it off. I'm just saying. Alright, normally, I'm in the ring. And I'm wrestling around. And I'm like, oh, my stomach hurts. And, you know, I gotta go. Don't 
Beach, California. That's where I'll be. At the poolside, you lose. I'll be back quick. <laughs> I have nothing to say. I went number two. I'm speechless. I quit. I, 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 that was amazing. It's been a long month for Larry Sweeney. Let me share with you something that Mama Sweeney told me when I was just a little bitty Larry. She said, Larry, what matters is not what happened in the past. It's what happens now. It's what happened in the future. So a month ago, I knew what I had to do. I knew exactly what I had to do. I had to get on an airplane and fly all the way to Portland, Oregon and visit my good friend, the Playboy Buddy Rose, and tell him exactly what happened with Sweet and Sour International. He took it all in over a steak dinner. And he said, Larry, let me tell you something. I'm going to put you on the express train to Shreveport, Louisiana. There's a title being held there, 16 men in one night, and it's for the ICW, ICWA, Tex Arcana Television Championship, and I know you're going to win it. I know you're going to do it. So you have my spot. You take the Playboy spot and get on that train and go and win it. And guess what? Guess what, wrestling fans? That's exactly what I did. Check it out, baby. Check out your new ICW, ICWA, Texar Canada Television Champion. Ha ha ha, that's right. Only defended on television, baby. Only defended in the bright lights and the big cities. And Leonard Chikarison called me up and he said, bring that belt to Chikara, baby. Defended in Chikara. I said, you know what, Chikarison? You're a bum, huh? You're a bum living in your Appalachian hut. I said, I ain't defending it there. Not unless I got protection. If it's not on TV, it's a special condition. And I need protection, baby. And I need the man known as Mana. Baby, that's right. It's the only belt in Chikara, and Larry Sweeney's got it, baby. And Mana has got my back. So let me let me tell you something. Yeah. All you bums who thought Larry Sweeney was down, huh? Huh? Thought Larry Sweeney was a beaten man, huh? huh? I'm the champ. Yeah. I'm the champ. I'm the yeah. champ. And I got him with me. Yeah. And if you want this belt, Ooh. you're gonna have to go for both of us. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do a title match? Yeah. Sweeney, what is this? Put up the, uh, that's right. Larry Sweeney does not need to put his title on the line tonight. Oh, some hecklers in the crowd, it seems. No! Unnecessary, Blind Rage. You don't put a title on the line in a town like no, Pittsburgh, no, Pennsylvania. You're on the board of directors here in Jakarta. And I yes, think come on. that you just might have the authority to either make him defend it or he leaves with no pad. You're kidding me. Carolina James cannot even tie his own shoes. Now, now, hold on, hold on. Thank I'm God for loafers. I'm going to tell you, wink, wink, to make this a title match, but I think you should because these people might want to see me walk away. They're just ordinary people. No, no, no. Carolina James has not the power to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, your following contest is set for one fall with a one hour time limit and it's 40 hours. No. I see WA. Blind Rage, you cannot do this. Larry Sweeney is incensed, and I do not blame him one How bit. How easily is this guy swayed? Him?
quite frankly, it's a travesty that he has to put that belt on the line. in the sun. He does not need to be in the Chikara ring tonight. He doesn't need that title. No. And he's not gonna get it. In my estimation, Sweeney had to have known something like this was coming to him. I do believe the powers that be at Chikara have it in for Larry Sweeney. Because he is such a suave and debonair young man. And quite frankly, they just are jealous. Larry Sweeney in some excellent new ring attire, and I don't blame him for bailing right there. I don't blame him one bit. Larry Sweeney should go home right now. It's not fair! Do, do me a favor, wink wink. Tell him that he can actually lose his belt at a 10 count. 20, 20 count here in Chikara. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this guy is unreal. Oh, this guy is unreal. Sweeney You've gotta be kidding me. In the, ring. in the next 20 seconds, he will Carolina Jimmy left his spine in the back. Unbelievable. I just don't understand this, James. Why is he at the very beck and call of Reckless You tonight? Did you just call me James? No, this oh, Carolina okay. James. Oh, this gaudy it's okay. jewelry and it's okay $10 dollar sports coat. Five cent haircut. Larry Sweeney is a better man than this, and he does not need to deal with this. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but Larry Sweeney is wearing some fine new ring attire tonight. Really, that's fantastic. Fancy, very expensive. He doesn't need to be in there dirtying it up with reckless youth. Lock up. To the arm drag. Reckless youth, very quick, and you just saw it right there. He's just he is a fine, skilled Mac technician, I'll give you that. He, I do believe he did pull the hair that time. Larry Sweeney with that fine mane of... Look at that. The, the blonde Palomino. The golden Palomino. <laughs> Larry Sweeney strutting his stuff for the Libyan fans of Princeton tonight. He's giving the fans their money's worth with that little jig alone. <laughs> now this is what I would have paid to see a strut off. Carter's gonna strut. He can't even walk straight and he's gonna strut. He's gonna try and strut like Sweeney. Unbelievable. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Watch well, this. Reckless Youth was a bit of a break dancer in his day. A b-boy, if you will. Love it. Yes. Yes. Now you just can't top this. This is money. Sweeney cutting through all the nonsense, going straight to the booty shake. Look at oh, that. Oh, oh my. Right. That's fantastic. Ladies, ladies, he's taken <laughs> by his own mere ribbon. Larry Sweeney, pretty boy. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Now, reference youth is, it does not stand a chance of this shut off. And he knows it. Oh, he won't even go for it. <laughs> Quick hip great. toss. I do believe he's had his hair. He's right, he had his hair. Again. Reckless Youth is a dirty player. He always has been. Suddenly a fan favorite, but long a dirty player. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right, baby. <laughs> ah, pulls him down from behind. Again. Reckless youth. Grabbing that hair. Dropping into the canvas. Larry Sweeney wisely out of the ring again. I guess Carolina made hair pulling legal as well. Well, and Miffery Remsburg doing nothing. Doing nothing. It's illegal. I guess they're in awe of this superstar, the king of the independents, but obviously they don't know. Larry Sweeney holds much more clout. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, blatantly 
stolen, and that is just typical of reckless youth Tom Carter. The Nova of Chikara. Nice arm drag. Alita. Tom Carter. Alita. Just mocking him right in his face. Those are oh, close fists. Close oh, fists. I don't, I don't like where this is headed. Excellent. Larry Sweeney with a quick reversal, dropping Tom Carter, Reckless Youth, face first into the turnbuckle. Oh, and now just trying to take his head off with that bottom rope. Larry Sweeney giving a true wrestling lesson. There we go, man. That's right. All these fans need to understand we have the true new king of the independence in the ring, and it's Larry Sweeney. Double underhook butterfly suplex, beautiful. One count only. Ha ha! Drops that big fist. Tom Carter is dazed and confused. Another one! Yes. Oh, now Mr. Remsburg can count. Now he knows how to count to five. I think it's ten. What are you doing? Yes. No way, no way, there's no way, no way. Jim, get rid of him. Jim, come here. No way, no way. There we go, baby. There we go. Larry Sweeney going to work. He's using his head here. Perfectly legal. And that it just shows the amount of skill and the experience of Larry Sweeney. Never underestimate the Golden Palomino. What? One, two, and three. Oh, come on, Ramsberg. Larry Sweeney. Takes hold of the head. That bartender's something else. Anyway, back to the action. Reckless Youth, Reckless two shots in the gut. Exchange of blows. Reckless Youth with the upper hand. European uppercut. Takes down Sweeney with that leg lariat. Two count only, Larry Sweeney, a little too tough for that. Irish whip reversal. Spine buster takedown by the Golden Palomino. Slow count by Bryce Redsburg as usual. Now he's done. Now he's done. Now you're done. Out of the way. I'm loving those boots on Larry Sweeney. Fantastic. Big size 11. Sweeney going up. Taking a little bit of time, but I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Drops the elbow. One, two, and oh. Kick out at three, Reckless Youth. Showing a little bit of moxie. Tries to put the sleeper hold on as Larry Sweeney. Tom Carter with the reversal and puts the sleeper of himself. Drops him to the canvas. And both men showing a little worse for wear. Remsburg putting the 10 count on. These fans trying valiantly to bring the men to their feet. Just a valiant attempt by these fans. Yes, there they go. These fans can count on them. Blocks it. Blocks it again. Reckless youth going to work on Larry Sweeney. Irish whip. Big back elbow. Jumps in the corner. Big back body drop. Larry Sweeney trying to stop it. Reversal by the Texas Canada champion. Oh my! Blind rage, did you see what I see? Yes. Blatant theft!
crowd's full of them tonight. Let's see if he's into his feet, but Larry Sweeney, the rake to the eyes. There we go, baby. Watch this. Watch this. Larry Sweeney going for his pile go. driver. And this is fatal, folks. Tries to bring him up to his feet. No, but a reversal. Reckless youth drops him to the canvas hard. Sweeney's boots coming apart at the oh, seams. Sweeney, do not trip, young man. And there it is. 68 comeback there special. One, two, and no. Larry Sweeney trying to end it right there with that 68 comeback special with Tom Cotter. Reckless youth. And the fans once again trying to bring Reckless youth to his feet. Sweeney goes to the suplex, drops Run him face suplex. first to the canvas. Oh, just a two count. Two and a half. I'm gonna have to give Reckless Youth credit. He's showing some resiliency, just a wee bit. The sweet and sour one puts him up to the top again. Oh, very stiff forearm. Reckless Youth, I'm sure, did not enjoy that. Perhaps going for a su I don't know. Reckless Youth pushes oh, there him up. goes Bryce the ref. Referee goes down. Like a ton of bricks. Just, that's that dirty player, Reckless Youth. He did that intentionally, it's quite obvious. Golden Palomino to his feet. Reckless Youth rips him off, up reversal. Oh no! Traps that arm and drops him with a big DDT. Reckless Youth to the top, here comes that big frog splash. splash! Frog splash by Reckless Youth! And then these fans are the idiots, they are not the referees! That was not a three count because they are not the referees! Bryce Ramsberg is again not doing his job, but that is typical of Bryce Ramsberg in Chikara. These zebras Very can't do the observant. job. Very observant crowd. Though. And Reckless Youth tries to bring him to his feet. Shaking him, trying to knock some sense into him. And there's Larry Sweeney! Pulls the truck! There we go, One, two, baby! Three. Larry Sweeney, Sweeney pulls it the out. golden Palomino! Victorious! And Sweeney retains the title. Fantastic. Sweet and sour, Larry Sweeney. You know the fans don't it's like it. In a great way, and uh, it's a really, it's a really even number. Listen, Bryce, I know a lot of your ideas are great, but a 37 count on the floor, I think that's a little much. Chikara said, for God's sake, Larry, I've been looking for you. Out of the way, get out of my way. Did you see what happened last night? Did you see what happened last night? I saw the match in Reading last night. Of course I did. Larry Sweeney doesn't have the Texarkana title, and did you see that he had the tights? He didn't have the tights. He had the tights. He did not have he the tights. He won tight. by holding the tights. And you know what? I'll tell you what. We, we, need, we need a rematch. You know, you haven't looked at, at, at the, at the Texarkana rule book. There's a 24-hour clause. 24-hour clause for, the, for a rematch for the champion who's holding it if it's not defended in Texarkana. And especially without Mata. He doesn't, I mean, for the, the, all right, he doesn't, Chinchilla doesn't even know where Texarkana is, for God's sake. If you want a rematch tonight that bad, you got it. But none of your usual dirty tactics. Oh, come none on. Your chicanery. Oh, chicanery. Larry listen, Sweeney, what are you talking about? I've got my eye on you. All right, fine. And I've got my eye on the Texarkana TV title. The challenger, straight up, and not so successful title defense in Lady Pennsylvania. Uh oh. Weighing at 193 pounds and held. From Redondo Beach, California, he is a former ICWA. Is this necessary? ICWA, Texarkana, television champion. Unplug the mic. And sour, Larry Sweeney. Two time former champion. His opponent, he is the current. I-C-W-A, Texarkana, television champion, Shushiro Arai! Yes, 
Chris, the new and defending champion. I did speak to Tichiro through a translator this afternoon. He informed me that he has never been to Texarkana, but uh, he does hear that it's God's country, and he looks forward to going down there with a successful tour. Biloxi, Corpus Christi, Shreveport, Mobile, the Loop, you know, as we call it. Sweet and sour ladies, we be taking off those snappy new, that snappy new t-shirt. A pink and purple ensemble tonight. Something new. No. Chichiro wants to shake hands. Oh, Sweeney pulled him in. Getting inside his head, yeah. Sweeney's focused. Looking for the three-peat. Looking to be the champion once more. The belt that is... Oh, his belt, he said. It's not your belt, though. It's my belt, though. You loser. I'm getting it back. Oh, my belt, though. Oh, no, tie up. Side headlock. Sweeney, new side of intensity in him. Doesn't have that cocky champion's advantage we're used to. Works up out of the side, headlock. A ride back to his feet, looking for a way out. Top wrist lock. Bending him down. Look at the bridge on Larry Sweeney. Up on his toesies. Slips around. Oh, takes him over that wrist lock. Ooh. Elbow right to the uh, point of the body he's working on. Slipping over into a modified camel clutch. Side headlock, Sweeney staying on top. Staying within the parameters of the rules this far. Oh, maybe not. I don't uh, expect that to last long, especially because Arai has something that Sweeney wants very badly, and that's the uh, Texarkana television title. Um, we are going to be taking a collection, though. If you'd like to, s to send some money to, uh, through ChikaraPro.com or SmartMarketing.com to keep Carolina Jim from ever saying that again. Just uh, checks, money orders. You know what, actually, just make, make him care of uh, Bryce Remsburg. S send me your money, and we'll see what we can do to get Carolina Jim to never say that again. Now, head scissors. Uh, working on the head, which makes sense because those headbutts of Arai are very, very dangerous. As Larry Sweeney found out last night in reading. Oh, got the hair. Come on, Sabato, get in there. Derek Sabato um, uh, making his rookie uh, Chikara refereeing appearance. Hasn't lived till he's ref the Larry Sweeney match, man. Definitely have your hands full in there with him. Cranks the wrist. Maybe somehow he gets in there on that head. That, that, that skull-heavy offense, those headbutts will hurt a little less. Gets to the ropes, clean break. To cheer with that shoulder taped again. Worked on the arm last night in Reading. I thought real men wore skirts, the headbangers told me. Uh, no. oh. That top wrist lock. Backs into the corner. Got a five count. Nope. Whoa, there's that big headbutt right to the gut. Harder than a Samoan, they say. Whip, no, drop toe hold instead. Oh, look out, Derek. Headbutt. Nope. Nope. Sweeney well scouted because he wrestled him last night. Knows those headbutts can do, and he knows that it is definitely in his best interest to avoid them. Whips him, nope. Oh, right back there to the gut. Look through. Ooh! Like a torpedo! So he wants a timeout. Sadly, there are no timeouts in Chikara or any professional wrestling for that matter. Got a 20 count on the floor. So he's taking his time, taking a breather, regaining his composure. Oh, rolls back in. Wants to go. Came to play. He wants to shake it. Look at that million dollar smile on Larry Sweeney's face. 
no, no. Oh, you know, congratulations, champion. No, 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 Jachiro. No, no, no. Oh, oh, pulls in. Works over that maybe injured arm. Very sweetie, a man's man. Steven Regal's not in the card either. Oh. Oh. Woo! Big headbutt. Whips him across, reverses. This match has been mostly Sweeney. Oh, game's hit. Oh, drops that injured arm across the top rope. Sweeney with a distinct plan. Devious, take any shortcuts to win. Ooh, working over that arm. Oh, kicks him right in the arm. You can hear that. Grinding that elbow into the shoulder socket. Taking the elbow pad off for a little extra oomph. Cover. Only two. Pulls him up by the hair. Ooh, chop on the chest. Arise, not a big man, but he's in very good shape. And he was trained by one of the best. Block, headbutt. Oh, reverses him. There it is. Whips him off the ropes. Yep, bunny hops out of the back, body drop. Kick right to the injured arm and shoulder area. Arise in trouble. Maybe, oh, he's trying to rip off that bandage, that, that padding. Oh, he's biting. Come on, get in there, Sabato. Do your job, man. Sweeney's got a five count. This is a title match. Officially sanctioned by the ICW, ICWA. Uh, what that stands for, nobody knows. I've asked Sweeney on several occasions. He hasn't been able to tell me. Ooh. Spins him over. Leg drop on the injured arm. Kicks out at two. Now picking him up by the hair. To the corner. Sweeney, a man possessed. Will not wrestle. He gets back that uh, Texarkana television title. Dropped the belt uh, last August in uh, Quebec, Canada to, to uh, wrestle by the name of Twiggy. Won it back a day later, hoping history repeats itself in that regards. He won the belt, but he'll be looking to win it right back here in Hellertown. Chops by Arai. Reverse. Backs him up to the apron. Sweeney swinging. Oh, there's the headbutt. Sweeney on wobbly knees falls right to the floor of the American Legion in Hellertown. Another thing about Arai, he's been known to fly. Oh, 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 maybe took a, too, took a little too long. Think about what he's doing. Sweetie pulls him out by the ankle. Sweeney appears to maybe have busted his nose or something. Oh, pushes him into the post. Back in the ring. <laughs> Pulls him over, got something in mind. <laughs> Taking the straps down. Lawler esque. There's the big elbow one. Well, oh, kicks out. Sweeney maybe caught his face in the apron on the way down. Oh. Stomping away. Oh. 
Sweeney, maybe going for the Fujiwara armbar. We already saw one of those tonight. It was effective, though. There it is. Rolls through. No. Quick roll up. That's how Arai won the title last night in Reading. Stomping away. Back to the shoulder. Misses the bionic elbow. Oh! Headbutt right to the chest of Sweeney. Both men down. Chichiro getting to his feet first despite the shoulder injury. Oof. Sweeney likes to use the 68 comeback special. The Gourd Buster, maybe the Boa Constrictor to put his opponents away. Rai definitely seems to fancy those headbutts. Slugging it out now. Chopping away on that chest. Oh, block. Chop. Oh, now Sweeney's begging off. Now he's had enough. Oh. Arai will have none of that. Oh. Neck breaker, followed by a chin breaker. Sweeney's in trouble. Come on, Sweeney. Shake it off, buddy. Come on, Sweeney. Do it for America. Sweeney with a right hand, right to the head. I don't know if that even affects her eye. Whips him off the ropes. Waiting for him. No. Nope. Grabs the arm. Oh. That's that injured shoulder. Oh, divorce court DDT. Kicks out of two. Watch the hair, Sweeney. Off his hair. Oh, slugging away at the shoulder. The shoulder's bleeding. Oh, he headbutted the arm. Very focused attack by Larry Sweeney. That's something in mind now. Right hooking it for a suplex. Nope. Blocked by Sweeney. Another one blocked. Woo! Headbutt! There it is. Big suplex. No, he's, he's got something more in mind. Pulls him back up. Oh, hooking him. Oh! Gets the shoulders down, but he kicks out at two. Dragon suplex, tiger suplex. Dragon suplex, ah. Some are crouching, some are hidden, I don't know. Sweeney seems to have something in his hand. What's the bottom do? Yes, get it out of here. Get it out of here. Get that chain out of the ring. He's got the belt, he throws to a right. Wait a second. No, no, he didn't hit him. He didn't hit him, he didn't hit him. But he's using that for an opportunity. One, two, kicks out, kicks out. Sweeney played possum on the belt shot to try to fake Sabato into maybe a disqualification finish. Some off the ropes, under the bionic elbow. Oh, oh. This is the ball constrictor. It's one of Sweeney's pet moves. He needs to get, gets him away from the ropes, pulls him to the center of the ring, sucking the life. Sucking the life out of Jachiro Rai. Stretching the body, all the blood going through that thick head, and this could be just about it. He's, he, he's moving, but no, he, he's still conscious, but there's not a whole lot left in him. Sabani's gonna check the arm there. Drops once, if it drops three times. Fans rag behind him, two. Oh, third time. No, he's up! He's up. Yeah. Oh, oh, sweet, he's cranking he's it. Done. I, I don't know. I can't think. It might not be long. Kachiro passes out. Drops it. Drops it again. There's one. Two. Oh, that's three. Ring the bell. Larry Sweetie regains the ICW ICWA Texas get a TV title. Oh, God. ICWA like I said, television 
checks payable to Bryce Remsburg. Well, the Carolina Jim would never say that again. Although, the fact remains, Larry Sweeney is a three-time, three-time, three-time Texarkana TV champion. No. Oh. You think Sweeney just won a gold medal? Valiant effort, though. Quite a fight put up by the now former champion, Jajira Rai. Larry Sweeney, though, back in the driver's seat of Texarkana. It's nice. God, I hate that guy. Uh, Delirious has disappeared. He's right there in the corner. Oh, no. oh, there he is. I think he thinks there's someone behind him. I think uh, the, the, the big guy here, the tank looking guy, uh, actually blocked my view of him. Well, he's staring at his ass, so. I can't believe the belt's on the line. Well, you know, Larry Sweeney seems to not have too much to worry about. I mean, look at him. He's strutting. He's having fun. Hey, look at this kid. Holds a victory over Colt Cabana here in the IWA Midside. Well, that is impressive. A former IWA light heavyweight champion. One of the most unorthodox wrestlers in all of wrestling. Oh, absolutely unpredictable. That's how you describe that, man. Classic Cole Cabana. He speaks for himself, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. 
Either that's a pickle in his pocket or he's happy to see the referee. Oh, and another chain. No, it's the same chain. I'm sorry. Excuse me. And Cole Cabana seems to... He seems to realize that there's a pickle in his pocket. Or he's just happy to see... <laughs> Lord have mercy. Larry Sweeney's blaming Cole Cabana. You know, obviously, Cole Cabana has planted all these items on Larry Sweeney before the match has begun here. Oh, and now Larry Sweeney is just, just... He's talking about his little Larry Sweeney there. It's a pretty big, yeah, Larry Sweeney, yes. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> well, Sweeney's plan to cheat obviously foiled, and uh, you can see the frustration on his face. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say he had something stuck right up that tight butt of his, too. Oh, hey, I'm not looking at his ass, Jason Dukes, and I don't think you should either. And now, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Cole Cabana stealing his thunder. He's stealing Delirious' his gimmick. And Delirious can't believe it. Look at, look at his face. This is ridiculous. How do you, why do you condone this? Cole Cabana shouldn't be stealing Delirious' gimmick. Ah, uh, it's all in good fun. And Cole Cabana blown up. Listen, fun is Cole Cabana coming out here wearing yellow polka dots. That, that's fun. All right, and Delirious, I think he's a little angry. Ah, you see, now you've made him angry. He's crazy. Whoa. The referee almost got it there. I'm Lord sorry. have mercy. Have you ever seen anything like this, Ben Jordan? The, ref the referee couldn't quite hang out of that one. Or that one. And Cole Cabana, oh! Whoa, Cole Cabana, being, being the nice guy that Cole Cabana is, he's going just returning. Replacing them all, yes, returning Him all the Sweeney chairs. are making a great team here, returning the chairs back to the fans. There you go, I'm sorry, the is a little I'm willing to bet money that somebody ends up getting whacked with this, with one of these chairs before it's over. I think over. is over. He's speaking gibberish. No one understands what he's saying, ever. And now... <laughs> he's crazy! <laughs> and Delirious right now is just chasing anything that is moving, and anything that's moving is moving very fast away from Delirious. do see do Hey, that's a hoedown, right there in the middle of the ring. I love hoedowns. Don't you love a good hoedown, Ben Jordan? More than anything. I think he intimidated him just a little bit. That's right, Larry. You tell him this, this is a, a wrestling, wrestling match. match. And you don't scream. This isn't a screaming match. That's right. This isn't a screaming match. That's right. You tell him, Larry Sweeney. That is absolutely correct. Well, look at what's going on here. The music has started, Larry. and you talked about it earlier. He, look at him. He is in absolute magnificent form here tonight. And he's just gonna keep on strutting while Delirious and Coca Man are wrestling. How do you like me? How do you like me? Oh! I'm into this. I like this Wrist Larry Sweeney cat. Cabana now, fireman's carry. Down, rib 
shoves it across the knee. That hurts. I don't think Larry Sweeney even cares what's going on. He's just strutting. Camel clutch now. Applied by Colt Cabana. Sleeper hold. Sleeper hold. We've got a camel clutch, a sleeper, and a strutting fool. Unbelievable. Cabana now backs him up into the corner. Uses that booty bump into the belly. And Cole now calling for the music again, and here it comes. And now he's gonna strut. Oh, see, now he's gonna get his strut on. And now, right back to the right hands in the corner. Sanity has been restored for now. And now Cole Cabana, the fun seems to be over. Larry Sweeney in a little bit of trouble here. And now Delis telling Delirious to go up to the top. We'll see what happens. Now the crowd's starting to come up. Here goes Delirious on up. My tag team partner to be. Let's see what happens here. Snapmare takeover, got him in the chin lock. Oh, and he just leaves the lead that, about? Job, that wasn't very nice of Mr. Bolt Banana right there. I'll tell you that right now. It's Colt Cabana. Colt Banana, Colt Cabana, tomato, tomato, whatever. Delirious is very upset right now. He's obviously very mad. He wants his chance to go up top and hit him. And now Colt Cabana, he's got Larry Sweeney. We'll see what happens right here. And now Delirious goes to the outside. Under the I ring. He, I think he just left Delirious. Cabana away the same way that Cabana just left Delirious. Delirious! Delirious, I got him! I got him! And Bull Banana now tells Delirious that he's got him, and Delirious is nowhere to be seen. He popped out the other side. Oh, and Sweeney. I guess they telegraphed it a little bit. <laughs> they definitely telegraphed that, Ben Jordan. You were right on with that call for once tonight. I get him one, once a night. Once a night, I'm good for one. I think Delirious just asked him, should he call him a taxi? That's what I heard. Oh, wait now. And an abdominal stretch being applied by Larry Sweeney. And look at the face. Look at the face. He is just exerting. Oh, not just grinding the elbow into the ribs. Oh, Lord have mercy. This is just silly. Oh, no. I think he bit him on the teeth. He bit his nipple right in the areola. I got him. Oh Lord, look at this. <laughs> Sweeney he points to his head. That's not how you know. That's how you know he's smarter than everyone else. Oh, double oh. hip toss. And Cabana's showing a little strength there. A little. Oh my God. Oh. Cabana. To the head. Don't feel good. This is Candido's strong style. So there oh, he's going. For, he's going for the hood right now. Oh, and in, in Mexico he'll be, he'd be. Oh, that's good. But, you know, in Mexico he'd be disqualified. Uh oh. And they got his arms trapped in his own singlet as well, so he can't get his arms up. Now that isn't right. The ref needs to step in there and not allow this double team right here. That's delirious. I, I'm so glad that he's going to be on my team. So glad. Yeah, you don't want him licking his hand. Pit stop. pit stop! It's the pit stop! Whoa! There are two places that a man never wants to be. 
Wow. And that's in a pit stop or Titty City, baby. And he just went to the pit stop courtesy of Delirious. We're used to seeing that from Brian Knobs and the Nasty Boys. Wait now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, look, he's got a good taste of the Oh, no. One, two. Oh, no, he kicks out. Larry Sweeney. Chris Candido style. Hey, you know what? I think I'm going to Denny's after this. I'm getting moons over my hammy, baby. Oh! That's Cabana's towel! Oh, another atomic drop! Oh, I, I keep saying this in this match. Lord have mercy. If I'm Cabana, I'm burning that towel. Big slam! Oh, oh, oh. Cole Cabana wipes his hand off. Yeah, I think he actually did smell a little something there on his hand. You know, oh, I, think I, I think I've seen it all. I really do. I mean, I never thought I'd say that, but I, I believe I've seen it all. Oh, wait a minute! Delirious just kissed Cold Cabana with tongue. I mean, to kiss another man, it's okay. I mean, as long as you're, you're, you're sure about yourself. But with tongue? There's a couple of eye rings. Please, please pull your pants up there, he's Sweeney. And he's not. He is not going to pull him up. He's going up top. <laughs> On January 15th in Highland, Indiana, Chris Candido wrestled the whole match with his ass out, towel in his ass. Talk about a tribute. Very One, good, Mr. Two, three. And Larry Sweeney has been pinned, and he is no longer the Texarkana champion, TV champion. What a turn of events here. I can't believe it. Under a 24-hour rule, it is really well. I was not aware, so fans, we can have some really, uh, some really weird goings on right here. Let's see what happens now. And now Cole Cabana with a roll. One, two, three. I'm confused. And now the smart ass fans here in Streamit are chanting two time champ. And Delirious now right back at it. He wants that belt. Give me my belt back! <laughs> Nobody home. Very sweetie. All the way to the outside. Wait now, inside, cradle, one, two, three! Well, that might not be it. He's still got him pinned. Let's see what happens now. One, two, three! Let's count the title changes. I believe that's four. Actually, I was wrong. That was five. That makes six. This is unbelievable. These two are just, they won't let go. They absolutely won't let go. Smell in the air tonight. 
There's a smell in the air, and it's sweet. It's sweet. And what is that smell? What is that smell? Wrestling fans at victory! Last night, Mana, last night, you saw a new side of Larry Sweeney. Larry Sweeney put you down and out. And tonight, I aim to do exactly the same thing. Because I've been down, baby. I've been down. I've been drinking heavily. I've been living on the houseboat, and I've been feeling sorry about myself. But tonight, tonight, I, 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 re I recognize who I am. I realize who I am. I'm the cock of the lock. I'm the hog on the ice. I'm the roll on the roast. And tonight, tonight, Milano Collection AT, there's nothing, nothing that's going to stop me from being champion once again. Yeah! Introducing first, the challenger, weighing in at 193 pounds, and hailing from Rotunda Beach, California, he's a former 14 times ICW, ICWA, Texarkana, television champion, sweet and sour, Larry Sweet. Golden Boy with his uh, share of fan support. Here at Chikara, Bondsville. 13 times he's held that belt, huh? Indeed, 13. 13 time loser. You better not let the hymns hear that. Well, take a, look, a good look at that belt, Milano Collection AT, because it's the last time you'll ever see it. The last time you'll ever have your hands on it. If Larry Sweeney has anything to say about it. These people in Barnesville, they like that whole ICW, ICWA thing. Well, they're a bunch of redneck hillbillies. Wow. Like the area from which that title came. Where did that come from, anyways? I died. Biloxi? Texarkana. All right. Come on. You know, I'm not a fan of Sweet and Sour Larry Sweeney by any stretch, but I must admit, I am a fan of those boot tassels. Tasselrific indeed. Mixed reaction for Larry Sweeney, but... The definite crowd favorite in this one is Milano Collection AT. I'll give you that. Well, these fans aren't very bright. Well, Larry Sweeney's been a man possessed since losing that title belt. Milano Collection AT may be favoring that knee of his. It, Last night in that eight-man tag in Reading, the uh, Kings of Wrestling, they went to work on the knee of Milano Collection. But I tell you what, the slap is working just fine. What an insult. He should be disqualified fine right here and now. It's an open hand. You can't DQ a man for using an open hand. Well, it's insulting. Well, an insult's not a DQ. I know nothing about this Dairy Queen you speak of, but collar and elbow lock up right here in the ring. I hope he slaps him again. Oh, come on! Yeah. Now enough is enough. For those of you at home who don't own your own Eric Cannon Kool-Aid Man t-shirt, check out ericcannon.com. You can purchase one there. Shameless, Eric Cannon, shameless. Hey, that's part of the job. And for more Chikara wrestling videos, check out smartmarkvideo.com. Milano Collection AT with a waist lock. Full Nelson applied by Sweet and Sour. Oh. Bit of a height advantage by Milano Collection AT. Milano has the height advantage. But do you think Sweeney's got the weight advantage in this one, or do you think it's pretty close? All muscle on Larry Sweeney, all pure muscle. 
Okay, so who weighs more? Who's got the weight advantage? Well, I'd have to give that to Mr. Remsburg. Oh, all right, all right, I'm with you. The stripes make him look smaller than he really is. They have a slimming effect, no doubt. Yes. It's all an illusion. Milano Collection working over the arm of Larry Sweeney, setting him up for, as you've called, cheating tactics or the AT lock. Now, Resmond counting, I don't know why. I saw nothing wrong with what happened right there. You mean you didn't see the handful of hair by he Larry He got Sweeney? him by the, the scruff of the neck. Uh -huh. The scruff, I tell you. Wouldn't that be the hair on the back of his neck? No. No? Are you sure? I know what I know. And you know that... What, 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 what are you getting at with that, huh? Let me tell you something, Eric Cannon. No need to question my knowledge of this business. You know what you know, and that's all that you know. Correct. I, I got it. All right. I'm with you. Larry Sweeney going for the ropes. Excellent thinking there. Making Milano Collection AT break that hold. Clean break by Milano Collection. For once. <laughs> for once. Look at that. Milano Collection from the, from the class T2P. Oh, just stretching out those legs of Larry Sweeney. Sweet and Sour will be singing soprano tonight. Side headlock applied by Milano Collection. There's another uh, hand scruff of the neck. Scruff of the neck. Scruff of the neck. Yeah? Well, what you see right now is Larry Sweeney. He's been taken advantage of one too many times here in this matchup, so he's just trying to even the score. And rightfully so. Sounds like Sweeney screaming like a girl. Forearm share to the abdomen of Milano Collection by Larry Sweeney. Big shoulder tackle. Oh, nice reverse of the hip toss by Milano Collection. Another headlock takeover. Back to the headlock. Oh, Sweeney with a head scissor. Milano trying to keep Sweeney grounded. And again with a headlock takeover. Milano's favorite submission, the AT lock, not only works over the arm, but the neck as well, so. Milano's got two targets in there. Eric Ken, what happened earlier tonight in your matchup with John? Hey, 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 hey. Well, I'd like to know. S side headlock by Milano Collection, that's not what I know. so much luck, eh, hey, Eric Cannon. <laughs> Did you even have a match tonight? Side headlock, yeah, my am. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, yeah. Uh, Drop kick to the knee of Milano Collection AT brings him I down. I see how it is, all right. Get your head in the game, Eric Cannon. Listen, you don't need to talk to me about my head because I know my head and, and I'm, I'm, my head no... I don't want to know your head, uh, anything about it. Milano Collection... Ooh. Sweeney, Sweeney going after the knee of Milano Collection AT. It seems that Larry Sweeney paid attention to the eight-man tag from... The previous night, where Chris Hero, Claudio Castagnoli, a couple guys I know pretty well, along with Team Fist, worked over the worked over the knee of Milano Collection. Well, the Palomino certainly did his homework here. What's this Palomino talk? The Golden Palomino. Larry Sweeney. Larry Sweeney. So he's he's sweet. a thoroughbred. He's so the cream of the crop. The Golden Palomino. Sweet and sour Larry Sweeney. Did I stutter? Whoa. Oh, nice schoolboy. Two count only. Drops Milano right down across the knee. Sweeney needs to stay on top of Milano. The crowd showing Larry Sweeney no love here in Barnesville. And I don't blame them. They don't know good wrestling. That's the problem with these fans. I don't know. They seem to give Milano a pretty good ovation when he came out. 
As I said, they don't know good wrestling. Uh-huh. Sweet and Sour sticking to, sticking to the knee of Milano Collection AT here. I think he's going to have to do a little more than that before we see it, before we hear Milano Collection give up. I don't even if he gives up. I don't know if I'll understand it, but that's all Bryce knows. Correct. Yeah. Well, Sweeney will stop at nothing until he gets that belt and returns home with it to Redondo Beach. Oh, and just biting at the knee now of Milano Collection AT. As I said, I'll stop at nothing. I believe that's what you would call cheating tactics. Am I wrong? Some would, some wouldn't. I would not. <laughs> Milano grabbing for those ropes, Sweeney pulling him away. Big fist drop to the knee of Milano. Here he goes again. A couple of fist drops to the knee of Milano Collection AT. Oh, trying to wrap up that figure four. Milano Collection fighting this. Sweeney doesn't quite have it locked in yet. The people in Barnesville rallying behind Milano Collection AT. The proverbial sixth man here tonight. Milano needs to turn that thing over or he's finished. Milano almost has him rolled over here. Reversing the pressure on the figure four. For those of you at home, for those of you at home who don't know, uh, I believe when the pressure is reversed on the figure four, it actually hurts more than when it's originally applied. What do you think? I agree with that. You know what you know. What do you think about that? Well, I agree. Oh, Sweeney's pulling the straps down. I don't, know, I don't know what that's going to do for him, but he's pulling him down. Well, when he pulls the straps down, that means it's go-home time. He's ready to go home with that belt to Redondo Beach. So the business is about to pick up. I heard a guy say that once. I don't know what that means, Eric Cannon. I only know what I see in the ring. And I know what Larry Sweeney tells me, and he tells me he wants that Texarkana television title. Have you had a conversation with Larry Sweeney? I've had many conversations with him. He's quite the guru. Oh, look at this! Milano Collection. Just using his momentum to toss Larry Sweeney up and over the top rope to the What he floor. did was he gave him a good kick to the butt, sent his butt flying over the top rope. Sweeney with a big miss. Milano swing slots him back into the ring. Come, brought him back in the hard way. Milano wasting some precious time here. He needs to just stay on the man. Swinging wildly as Milano collection. Oh. Connecting with that enziguri. Sweeney hits the canvas hard like a ton of bricks. Both men down. Bryce Ramsburg making the count. Milano rallying the troops. Digging down for everything he's got. Both men are up. A wild swing by Larry Sweeney. Oh. Big jumping fence press. Oh. I like chops. That has got to hurt. Oh. Larry Sweeney chopped raw last night by Mana. <laughs> Shades of Kenta Kobashi there by Milano Collection AT. That's right. You know your stuff, Eric Cannon. I try. I know what I know. How about that, huh? <laughs> yes. Oh! Big kick! Oh! I've seen Milano do this before. He's got Sweeney set up on the apron. 
Milano's Sweeney coming in for a drop kick here. Oh! Big running drop kick right to the side of the face of Larry Sweeney. Solid connection there by Milano to the face of the Golden Palomino, as you've been calling him. Milano to the top. Nice high cross body. Two only. Milano came down on that knee, I think. And, uh, oh, he's going for the AT lock. He's got him. Oh. Sweeney with a headbutt to the leg there. Small package. Two only. Very close. Milano calling for that AT oh. lock. But Sweeney just pulled the chain out of his boot. What? Sweeney pulled a, no. a, a chain out of his Tied boot. Tied his shoelace. Oh, big super kick right to the face of Larry Sweeney. What? Well, look at this. I told you. It's that cheating way of Milano Collection 18. That's a disqualification. Remsburg, you need to disqualify him. Meanwhile, Larry Sweeney with a big right hand to Milano. The chain was a decoy, Mantis. A decoy? What do you mean? He hit him with a big right hand. All fist. And now, Sweeney going to the top could be that big elbow drop of I, his. I believe he calls it the, Shre the oh. Shreveport Smash. And that's it! Oh, come on, Remsburg. <laughs> Sweeney just ditched whatever it was he had under the ring. I don't know what you're talking about, but it's good to see Larry Sweeney with that gold around his waist again. He caught Milano with that hard right hand, followed it up with that big elbow off the top. A and big that's right hand. Up for Milano. That's a loaded punch. Well, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. And as promised, the Golden Palomino has regained that Texarkana television title and will no doubt return to Redondo Beach tonight via his super jet in the sky. So now he's a jet riding golden Palomino. That's right. Wow. <laughs> you Larry cheated, Sweeney. Sweeney. Sweeney, you cheated and you know it. Look at him, look at him. He just pulled it out of his boot. Well, look at this. Hopefully, we're going to see the return of the winner's circle right here with the victory of Larry Sweeney. Let's hear what he has to say. Uh, 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 the winner's circle back. <laughs> this is the winner's circle, huh? Collection AT. Well, that's just uncalled for, Eric Cannon. Cheating tactics, huh? Yeah. Where does he come up with this crap?
dribbles, baby. Feed these pythons, baby. They say.
Continues. 